Barcelona won a football game. Let's go. We're going to the Champions League quarterfinals for the first time in four years. We did it without Messi. Let's go. I, I'm, I'm unbelievably ecstatic. This team played pretty really good football. Pretty really good. Very good football for a very good amount of that match. And they, they surprised me. I think they surprised Napoli, especially in the beginning of this game. Um, and and there's there's a, a lot of bright spots, and I, I'm going to try and cover some of the most important ones. Um, there was a lot of players that played wonderfully in this setup today. The way they came out in this match was really unparalleled from what we've seen recently, and that's impressive to do without two of your most your, your two basic most basically most important midfielders to be able to do that without. Uh, Pedri and Frankie de Jong and, and still look really good. It's very impressive, but I think they were able to do that because they bypassed the midfield so much. They didn't really play through the midfield until later in the match a little bit. Uh, there were a lot of standouts in the game, and, and especially in that first half, it, it's got to go to Fermin Lopez and Rafinha. Both of the guys did a really good job running off of Lewandowski, creating space, creating a little bit of nonsense and chaos there, and... That, you know, not only did it create basically our first goal and a lot of chances in that beginning. I, I remember a, a glaring missed chance from Fermin Lopez. It was a very hard chance. I'm glad he got a goal. Really good performance from him in that first half. Uh, Lewandowski played okay. Uh, not, not impressed with him in the front line today. He probably had more space than he has had recently because of the runs from Fermin and Rafinha, but he really wasn't able to capitalize on it. I don't think his link-up play was great, and he really did drop back a lot, but I do like that work rate. Right? We saw at the end of the game that he was still ready to go, and that's great. Rafinha, on the other hand, he was a little bit of a mixed bag. So he kept up that energy. He was able to track back and defend well at times, but I, I'm just... That final ball is so bad. It's not even like it's not, it's just off. It's just so bad. I think with the amount of money that some teams are offering from for him, allegedly, I, I don't think he's worth keeping if we're able to get that much out of him. Uh, now, in the front, in that first half, Kubarsi was unbelievable. Now, he was one of the main reasons we were able to play out of that um, weird press or we were able to uh, bypass the midfield so easily the balls he was playing the danger he was creating on top of his defensive solidity today was ridiculous that back line of Kunde Araujo and Kubarsi was fantastic yet again everybody in chat was saying that Kunde was pocketing Kevada Shkelia that entire match and he was Kunde was incredible Araujo was really good even when his eye went bloody he was very very consistent and and it, it's hard not to be proud of him for that that way he played there. Even Cancelo defended pretty well. He was basically our biggest outlet um, going forward on the left, really, except for the long balls that were, were, play, were played to Rafinha on the left. But Cancelo did a really good job overlapping today, created a lot of danger and had a lot of really good chances. Now, that midfield... It was a little bit of a mixed bag. Christensen had a good game defensively. He had to come off, though. And and that makes sense. Uh, he has been getting gassed around the 70th minute, 65th minute. And for once, we saw Xavi actually take initiative there and not wait until Christensen got injured or got tired and took him off early. And, and that's huge from him. And, and, and so kudos to Xavi for doing that. I think that was the right decision, uh, bringing on Romeo for him. And surprising to me... I don't think I was in love with taking Fermin Lopez off for Sergio Roberto, but Sergio Bro Roberto was fantastic. <laughs> he was really good playing in that kind of deeper lying uh, midfield role with Christensen and Romeu. He, that freed up Ilkay Gundogan and Gundo had an insane second half. I, he was like one of the only real creative threats at the end of that match there, especially because Lamini Mall clearly lost his legs. Who, by the way, had a great game. I don't think there's a ton to touch on. He was fantastic as per usual, but he was exhausted by the 70th minute. I think Xavi should have brought on Vitor Roque uh, for him, but I think having Gundo switch up and, and come f forward instead of having to play that deep-lying midfield uh, showed, uh, showed me again that incredible midfielder that I made that video about how his attacking abilities were insane this season. We were able to see it again for the first time in a very long time. And that's all because of the way Sergio Roberto was able to cover for him, but also link up well with him. And we saw that leading to, was that the fourth fourth goal? The third goal. And then that was the third goal where Sergio Roberto made the run in. Gundo dinked it over to him and he passed it over to Lewandowski. Sergio Roberto had a f wonderful game and he's been clutch before he was clutch today. Uh, he was exactly what we really needed there. For, uh, and with what we had to come out like that, it was very impressive. I think to be fair... I, I wrote here luck. I think we have to recognize the luck that we experienced today. I think a different day we lose this match. And and not because we didn't play well enough, but 
because Napoli converts some of their chances. I think we did deserve to win, but we still got a little lucky. They they had some chances that just missed, hit the bar, and, and could have gone a different way. So, so did we, to be fair, but we got a little bit of luck there. I'm not saying somebody in chat right now is freaking out that I'm saying it's not luck. I'm not saying we won because it was because of that luck, but a different day, we lose this match. A different season, we lose this match. We've been so unbelievably un unlucky in recent years, and we weren't today. And that is lucky. That's huge. And, and, and so we should be proud of that. We still have questions about this midfield. Today, we were able to play through the midfield, um, mostly because Napoli doesn't have much of a midfield. Zambo and Gisa didn't have a good game. Labodka was fine today, and Troyore wasn't great either. They're pretty easy to play through, but against a team with a better midfield we might get more exposed and, and we're definitely going to struggle we were able to play really well through the wings and that's something we really haven't seen a ton this season without Lamine Mall. like Lamine Mall wasn't our only outlet out wide this today because of Cancelo how good he was and how good Kubarsu's balls over were to Rafinha and and so we were able to be, create a little bit more chaos on both sides today and and not just with Lamine Mall. If we can continue that for the rest of the season, that's huge. That's really good. Not only does that take pressure off Rafinha, but uh, off Lamine Mall, but it, it creates more threat and makes us a more dangerous team. And may, it'll make it easier for us to play football, uh, genuinely. All this depends on who we get matched up with in, in the quarterfinals. And I, I, I don't know who, our, who it could be. There are a lot of good teams. There's also not as good teams. I'd love to have PSV or Dortmund. Um... And, and, and or even Porto, uh, they're putting up. I'm watching the Arsenal game right now. I'm excited. I'm excited for the future of this squad. I think they played really well today, and that intensity in the first half was incredible. And, and we should be proud of that. Go celebrate. We can all be happy. Good football. Uh, and 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 have a good night. Enjoy your day. Let's go. Forza Barca. Visica Barca. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace. The video out on Saturday on the main channel.